We are back with Emmy-winning journalist, talk show host, and author Tamron Hall. She has a new book in her Jordan Manning series, Watch Where They Hide. Welcome back. Great to see Thank you. Thank you. Good to be here. So tell us about Watch Where They Hide. Well, this is a follow-up to our first As the Wicked Watch. And Jordan, our protagonist, is back. She's an up-and-coming reporter in <laughs> Chicago. But being pulled into this world of solving crime. So now we see Jordan rising to the top in her career, but she's also turned more vigilante. She's been called in by the sister of a missing woman to solve her disappearance. And Jordan is willing to put her life on the line, her career on the line, to find out what's happened to this woman. So it's a thriller. My goal was to keep you up after you finish the book, at least two days. <laughs> so get ready. I, you know, I'm telling you, I want you to look to the sky and go, Tamron Hall, mm. because it's that kind of ending. Now it's also rooted in your personal experience, your sister's unsolved murder. Yes, I, you know what, for me, I was looking for a way, you know, they say it was cathartic. When I launched this series with Jordan Manning, I thought this great protagonist, female journalist who's pulled into being more than a journalist but a crime solving character and it harkened back to why I did the show Deadline Crime which ran for six seasons after my sister's unsolved death I wanted a way to connect with other families and give them a voice and so Deadline Crime ran for six seasons and in the intro of that show it's like I don't want to know you know, the details, but I want to know more about the family, the why. And, and for me, that was an opportunity to use my voice, my platform, to advocate for survivors of domestic violence. But I, I needed to take a step back. I actually ended that show when I was pregnant because I covered the murder of a pregnant woman. And I remember being mm. in the studio, tracking that and thinking about her, thinking about my sister. And I said, I need a break. And a couple of years passed, and Jordan Manning, who's named after Michael Jordan and Peyton mm -hmm. Manning, which I told you, came into life. So she gives me a, the ability of fiction to escape reality, but give but people a glimpse, story, to yeah. still tell the story and give a glimpse of what it's like. I was a true crime reporter now for 30 years, 10 of that on deadline crime. And you, you, people, you know, you, your job is not to be the story, but the pain and the reality of sitting across, as you know, from someone who's gone through great loss, it takes a toll. How do you find the time? You've got your show, you are a mom. Where does the writing fit in? In the shower? No. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I, I write down, I have a voice, these little voice recorders all around my house, and so for some reason I'm in the shower oftentimes and I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I need Jordan to do this, and, and I'm in the shower, I jump out, and you see like wet footprints all through my house. I speak in the, and my mom is still very old school. She goes, you're gonna electrocute yourself. I'm like, mom, it's a cell phone. I jump back in. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, or I'm in bed and then my, my phone is there and I'm lying in bed and I, I'm asleep and I wake up and I go, oh, I need Jordan to do this. And my husband's like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> so, you know, I really wanted this to be a thriller. I want to, I wrote this particular uh, edition of Jordan Manning in the city. The first, I was out on Long Island and I was doing my best Stephen King. I had like a cozy sweater <laughs> and I had, I sound like a New Yorker, a sweater. And I had, you know, my coffee looking out at the evergreen. And so there was a slow burn. This one, I was in the city. My kid is four years old. So we're in like preschool wars on the playground. So I came ready for <laughs> battle with this one. So you see Jordan, she's, she's action, she's heart, she's compassionate, but she is a bloodhound when it comes to so solving a case. So who is going to play her in the TV series? George, you have the same haircut. <laughs> <laughs> in the role of Jordan Manning, you get your Oscar. You know, I, you, I, I'll tell you what, I, Angela Bassett was just here earlier, and when I was creating this character, I thought a lot about truly Angela, her, her power in her presence. And, and Jordan is in her you know, late 30s, she's single, she puts job before everything else and I wanted those layers so you know I think like what Chloe Bailey um, Halle Bailey like one of those beautiful young stars but but at the core she is someone that I just feel is so relatable and and so dogged determined to find justice I hope people fall in love with her thank you for coming in thank you watch where they hide is out now and Tamron all hairs weekdays you can check your local listings to find out where well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.